sharp good morning good afternoon good evening what about the time it is that you are watching us right now i see go by the name but let me write Ebe. Uh, you can also call me mr white or mr white the program today it is on the pipeline as i am not alone in the studio as you can see i have um, this good wonderful good looking uh, beautiful uh, lady with me today in the studio and we are going to have to review today a special topic um, generally uh, there is this trading word um, about a man and a woman and at the same time what relationship is said uh, to present before as we all know on the tales we are right on Sunday we will draw more on relationship helping people to build their relationship in making sure that this present generation did not go astray in our building their marriage life yes first of all uh, in a word to start with it is often said that um two head is better than one and uh, people will also tell you that not just two head but two better head is better than one and that is what marriage and relationship is said to present and bring before us yes once again i have again i have i mean once again i have in the studio um let me call her madam Sidney. Sidney is an educationist and uh if you are watching from um aja uh, where we have um, our studio or if any part of the world where you are watching from at the, before the end of the program she's going to drop her contact so you get to enroll your child in her um, uh, academic uh, program there she's good at what she does and then uh, today she's going to help in uh, also educating our audience on the topic we have today Sigura, welcome to the studio and again, thank you for making yourself available to join us today. And um, to start with, the topic we have before us today said the general debate, what do women really offer in a relationship? What is your take? Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, honestly, this topic is so interesting. It's very, very interesting. Women have a lot, a lot, a lot to offer if only they understand themselves. If you understand yourself as a woman, lady, you know that you have a lot to put on the table. First and foremost, let me start on the general terms. Women, in general, should be honest. So honesty should be the person the woman yes. puts on the table? Yes. Mm -hmm. That's they should difficult. be respectful. They should be loyalty, they should have the spirit of loyalty in them, and so on. Okay, okay. Uh, now looking at this present generation, where some people, where some people will tell you, uh, where some ladies will tell you, uh, I don't want um, a husband, I don't want, I just want to maybe have a child and I will be okay with myself. I would go, I would, how do we coin that with? Um, respecting a man that you are getting married. Honestly, I let me speak for myself. I don't really buy that idea for ladies or to ladies that say you don't want to get married. You just want to have uh, children on their own, be baby mama. Baby I mama. I, I like I, I like that word. Baby I mama. don't really really buy to that idea because there will come a time that you need someone to talk to. When that child is sick, how will you go about it? Who will you turn to? So to mm -hmm. me as an individual, I don't buy that idea of, of having a child. Of having a child outside, outside where you are. Because I know it's a training thing that people will say, oh my age, sometimes they look at the age um, the bracket. bracket of a thing, they say my age, Ah, no, let me just go in, let me just have this child and know that please I've achieved something. To me, I don't look at it as an achievement because I've seen a scenario that a friend of mine, this is a life story stuff, a friend of mine, she has a child and at the end of the movie, she was passing through a lot. I looked at her, I said, you see, when they were advising you, you felt having this child was just the ultimate. You don't know that having a child, after that child, comes other things. 
comes through a lot of responsibilities that you need to take care for this child. You don't just need to have a child and just relax like that. Okay. Then, then, then at the end of the day, did she say to the advice to say, okay, since this is a friend trying to advise me, because these days most ladies don't take advice. Let, let, me, let, me not say, let me not say this. People don't take advice these days. They will tell you, um, it's my life, now my life, now my life. Whatever I want to do with it, let me do with it. Yeah, actually, she never stick to that advice. She never stick to that advice. She went ahead and told her that having that child um she's not finding it funny she is not finding it funny wow. so um if if we are to if 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 um we are to put off in the world in the world what are other basic things that women really offer in the relationship um i mean okay let, let's not say relationship now. let's say let's put everything together let's say both relationship and marriage some will tell you uh, some women are supportive some will tell you, um, okay, we had a program one time, uh, uh, um, a lady said, um, I offer my everything, my leg, my hand, my shoulder, my everything is what I have to put on the table. Okay, let's quickly look at what the person said. When God created man and formed the woman, what did he say? He said that the woman should be submissive to the husband. The husband. And not just that. The woman is meant to be a helper. a helper. The woman is meant to be a helper. You are not just there for being sick. You are supposed to assist your husband. Be it a relationship or what, marriage. Assist. Assistance, that word assistance is very, very important. You are not just there like a picture, like a log of food. You need to do something. You need to be productive. Assist your husband to make him grow. But on the not share, uh, just, just like what you said, supportive. Um, 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 in 2019, was it 19? In, in 2019, I was, I was, I was opportune to, I was opportune to attend a program. And um, in that program, the lady that was, that was uh, um, the speaker, it was, it was a normal relationship program. She came up and said that um, if care is not taken, what we are seeing now, what, what, he, said, he said what we will see in the years to come will be worse than what we are seeing today. And I thought maybe she was just saying it. Um, personally, I have been a lover of having a family, having a child, you know, because I grew up seeing my mom and my dad in that, in that playing group. You know, those days um, when skirt, when Toza was not rapper in Nigeria. You know, the, the, you know, the guy could put on one t-shirt and the woman had the same thing with a trouser and the stroke. Then, and I put the question to her, what do you think is the major problem with this present generation when it has to do with not being able to keep a relationship? Hmm, that question is it's, 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 it's versatile. Why I said so, it's a very broad question. Not keeping a relationship. It, um, the 21st century um, stuff we have today, or 21st century, um, I'm trying to look for words that will quantify what I'm trying to say. Generation that we have today, it's, they don't even look at those things. They are old, they want everything ready made. They want everything quick, 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 sharp, sharp, sharp. Let's go there. <laughs> yes, they just want it. As they say it, they want they it. Want they it. don't even want to know how this thing will come about, how the stress one will put in before getting this thing. They are old, they just want it. As if they plant those things there that once they want, they plug it. And you know, because of this um, 21st century stuff that we have now, we have the computer, we have all those things, and they make life so easy that they don't even know that even in that making life easy, there are other things that are involved that you need to do before you get those things. You can't just sleep and expect bread and manna to fall from heaven. It does, it does, it, 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 it does fall from heaven. You can just be walking on the street and you see one big, uh, one big millionaire. Pum, 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 you're hopping and before you know, life is good. It depends. Hopping in, think about your life. Sometimes you hop in, you don't hop out. When you okay. go in, you don't that come out. Yeah, that, that, that one is oh, that one is also there. Now let's look let's look at let's look at something again. Um 
in 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 in, in the world, um, relationship is said to be more of companionship. I was going to say companionship comprises of what a woman puts on the table. Relationship. Companionship, 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 companionship. It's all about you trying to when you understand when you understand what you're doing you understand your environment you get to know what you really want because when two people come together when two people come together you have that 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 sense that sense of um that sense of togetherness yes that's where companion comes from because when you understand that okay you are always with this person and you have the same thinking, the same like, you are free, you discuss, like that you know that, okay, this person is compatible to me. But when you look at it in the other aspect, in the aspect of a man and a woman, you will now say, companionship is a bond. Mm. It's a bond that bonds those people together. The way they think, they enjoy, they do everything together, they go out together, their ideas are like, you see that there is a bond. But in today's society, when you see people together, you think it goes beyond that. A real companionship, taking out this romantic aspect of it, or sex, um, sexual elements. Yeah. You don't need all those things. It's just between the bond. You are with this person, you are happy, you are free. You, 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 you can express yourself. You can tell the person how you feel. And that same person will give respond a response. Back respond back to you. Back the to way you. Your shit yes, that's companionship. But in today's world, when you see two people together, especially boy and girl, before you know, the next thing that will come is sex. And it kills everything. But sex is also sex is also the reason why relationships should be. It all depends on the area you are coming from. Explain. As I earlier said, when two people have the same, have that sense of togetherness. togetherness. You